and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I am Crystal O and today we are going to be talking about my whole little vegan moment, season, time, and what I experienced. So let's go ahead and jump into um, my reasons for going vegan, why I went vegan, what I ate when I was vegan, and all that good stuff. What I experienced when I was vegan, right? What it did to my body, to my mind, and everything else in between. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into that. But before we do, if you are not subscribed, click that button because it does go a long way. I have seen that a large majority, majority, a large majority of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. Click that red button, it's free, I promise. I don't spam, like, it's a great little subscription, okay? And you'll be notified if you click the bell um, and turn all notifications on when my video gets posted. So um, without further ado, let's talk about me going vegan for a month and what I experienced. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so I believe like last month or so, like almost like a month and a half probably I think I was vegan for, um, I really wanted to go vegan because I just felt like America was killing us, okay? Like point blank period. They're trying to kill us. And I, that's always kind of been my, <laughs> That's always kind of been my like mindset with America and what they feed us because you know I'm not into like controversies or whatever or conspiracy theories but why is our health care so high and then like why is the UK is free the UK has more bans on you know processed and artificial stuff and America has like None. So that's really strange, you know, it's a little fishy. Um, and then with healthcare being so high and then the UK it being free, I mean, it just kind of makes me think something is going on, okay? Something that's not legal, but it's kind of legal, right? Because we're here. Um, so I just felt like, you know what? For health issues, I'm throwing out meat. I'm throwing out everything, okay? Air, because, you know, vegans, we don't eat much. Well, I used to not eat a lot, but I did eat a lot. I'm gonna explain that in just a second. Um, so I threw out everything, you know, glue. Oh, of course I was more so looking for gluten products. Um, I still ate eggs, so I was a little vegetarian. I was a little, little vegetarian on the side. Um, but I still ate eggs, but everything else was done. I already drank almond milk, so that wasn't a big deal. Um, and other things, but it was just an adjustment because I am married, I have a husband and he is not vegan so it was really interesting learning how to incorporate meals that he would enjoy and things that he would really like um so that's kind of why we i was able to go so long on my whole vegan haul and i really thought that i was gonna do it for a while honestly like i am actually surprised by how easy it was to maintain a vegan lifestyle i'm actually surprised by how you know able I was to do it. Granted, I live in Waco, Texas. Um, if you know Chip and Joanna, that's kind of where, 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 where they're at, where we're at. Um, but I realized there's not a lot of vegan friendly things around me at all. So I can't have any off days like without cooking or preparing and that's a lot of work, you know? So one of the reasons why I actually went back, you know, to the meat eating life or just being okay with eating certain meats was because of the prep time of, you know, different vegan foods and also just the access, the lack of access to vegan restaurants, to vegan, you know, places and things like that. That's what really put a stake in it for me. But we're here to find out what happened to me when I went vegan for about a month and a half. So let's go ahead and jump in to that. Um, so when I went vegan for about a month and a half, I literally felt like the food that I ate sat in my stomach so much longer because it was so nutrient dense. Um, and yeah, I literally only cared to eat like once a day, twice a day. Like I really wasn't hungry like that. And it was really, really fascinating. And I charge it to the food being so nutrient dense and just so healthy for you that it just sits and saturates and loves on you, right? Um, so that was really nice. That was really, really good. Another reason, another thing that I noticed was that 
I did feel a lot more lightweight. I did feel a lot more just energy. Like I just felt more like energy in my body. I felt healthier after eating. Instead of losing energy, I would gain energy. Like that's not how it used to be. Like if I eat, eat equals the itis, itis equals sleep coma, I'm done for the day or the year, whichever works. But I noticed that when I ate vegan food, I felt so much energy. I felt so much more just like, whoa, let's do this. Um, so that was really, really good. I also was losing weight, of course. I was shaving off a couple of, you know, pounds. I was looking more leaner. Um, and I really liked that, you know? I ain't mad at that. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, so it was really, really nice. I think that being vegan for a month and a half kind of pushed me in my cooking skills. I, I love to cook. If y'all, you know, follow me on Instagram, you know I love to cook. I made vegan uh, fish, vegan fried fish with collard greens, vegan collard greens, and gluten-free honey cornbread. <laughs> Chef's kiss. It was so so good. Um, I actually saw this recipe from Tabitha Brown on Instagram and that's kind of what inspired me to make it and it was actually really really good. Let me know if y'all want me to make a video like that showing you how I did mine um, because I wouldn't mind doing that. I also made a bunch of other vegan dishes as well that I don't mind sharing with you all as well. So yes I'm eating meat again but I still find myself eating more like vegan friendly stuff just naturally just because I don't really care for meat like that like I'm not like you know, what was that <laughs> I'm not like meat 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 crazy I'm just kind of like okay convenience your girl's tired you know obviously I'm not gonna go to McDonald's and you know buy a Big Mac like no you know so that's kind of what my experience was. Um, I do think it kind of helped with my skin. Um, I have been having this new thing with adult acne that I will share more about in another video. Um, but my skin is really clearing itself up, which I'm really thankful for. Um, but for the most part, yeah, being vegan was doable. Um, have you ever tried to go vegan? Would you ever go vegan? Um, just what are your thoughts around that? Just interested in knowing. And also, I think for me, another, like, I think this is another challenge for me when I went vegan. It was that... Um, there was a lot of soy based vegan products and I know like if you do research on soy soy isn't too great for the female body and just stuff even like the male body but so yeah that was complicated so I was like oh like everything has soy in it and not everything but most things that I had around me available had soy in it and that was just kind of annoying because I don't want to like overload on soy when I'm trying to like you know be healthier so that's kind of what happened on my instagram today i'm actually sharing a post on a company that makes meal plans so delicious this is not sponsored i just really enjoyed it um it is called eat to evolve and i do have a code so if you need that code it'll be my it'll be linked in my description bar below as well as the instagram post Y'all, take advantage of this. I personally recommend the jambalaya, the cauliflower rice, no, the cauliflower rice taco bowl. Um, I recommend the buffalo um, mac and cheese. I recommend, honestly, hmm, it's so good. Like my husband and I have been eating that for the past week. It's basically homemade meal prepped meals by a chef and they ship it to you fresh sealed and just perfect air squeeze or airtight and I just think that y'all could benefit from that because I know I did so check that out for sure um but that's basically this video I just wanted to hop on here and kind of get more back into sharing my life with y'all as I live it versus just like yeah two years ago this happened it's like girl two years ago what so uh yeah that's basically what i'm up to now and i hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to comment below with your thoughts subscribe like comment all that jazz it goes a long way and i will talk to you all in my next video bye